went to the ground from, uh -huh. on Calvary Cross. Uh -huh. So that God so loved the world uh, yeah. that he gave his only begotten son. Uh -huh. That whosoever yeah. believes should not perish. But yeah. have everlasting life. Yeah. Yeah. Pinky said I had to buy my way. Pinky uh -huh. said I had to change my clothes. Uh -huh. He said if I believe in Christ. Yeah. Son of God. That's all I gotta do is believe uh, that God sent his son uh, that he was born of a virgin woman. We think about God to love him. We think about God to give him. We think about God to save your life. Despite our simplicity. Those that believe us. Uh, those that trust in God, those that want to see God, will be in that kingdom of The only we try, the only we test it. But God is not hindered. God is polite. God is passionate. God don't vote nothing on nobody. We got a choice. He said, who forever? Let him will. Yeah. Let him come. Yeah. So God will uh, make a way. Yeah. It don't cost you a hundred bucks. Uh, it don't cost you nothing but to say, uh -huh. I believe yeah. that God's son died. Yeah. Inside out. Born once or born twice? Yeah. That is the question. Yeah. You were born once of your own. Yeah. You didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah. But the second birth, yeah. you can do so. Yeah. And what that you can do, you can make a choice. Yeah. You can make that choice to shoot Jesus. Yeah. And then when you make that choice, you ain't got to worry about the struggle. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about the pain. Because well, that's what we messed up. We try to take all of it on ourselves. Yeah. What parent don't care anything about a child? We got a God, a father that cares all about us. He'll never leave us, he'll never forsake us. We got to give it to him. The struggle is not ours, it's God. But what being as Christians, born again believers, don't miss your promise. Don't let Satan cheat you out the promise. Don't let Satan cheat you out of anything that God has already come. We are children of God's kingdom. We have healing power. We can pray for one another. And we can be healed. Whatever we need from God, he's got it. The vision. When pastor paints the vision, and Satan already done peeped at the beach. When we get on board with the beach and take it forward, God will smile. But Satan always gonna try to throw a bone in there because he don't want to see God's plan carried out. We're gonna get a this address rehearsal on this side. If I didn't get it right over here, there ain't no need to try to go over there to get it right. I gotta love my brother. I gotta treat my brother right. I gotta have his love down on the inside. I can change my clothes. I can change the way that I talk. But if it ain't on the inside, down in my soul, sooner or later, when the trials and tribulations, when the pressure comes, when the temptation is faced before me, when you do like the cat, when the mice come out, the cat scrum. That's the mouse. So don't let Satan try to trick you. He wants to always want to take you back. We always be under construction. We're gonna always be under construction till we till we make that transition. But we got an attitude that sits on high. And he got everything that we need. But if we don't believe what we pray for, 
and we don't believe what we ask God for, right. why we come to church? Right. If I believe that I come to church and I'm going to get healed, I believe that I'm coming to get healed. If I believe that I'm coming to church to get delivered, I'm coming to church to get delivered. If I believe that I'm coming to church that I can be a better person, I'm coming to church. Because we come to learn more about God. And we come to fellowship one another. Iron sharp as I. When I just talk to one of the brothers, it just brings a delight. It just comes to fellowship. It's just not the, the brother, but the other of the sister. It's something about the camaraderie of God's people. That's why I can say, how can we not fellowship with one another? How can we walk around one another? How can we disregard one another when we say we are born again? That's why the question comes that born once or born twice. When you've been born twice, you have no problem to love people. You have no problem to treat people right. When you're born, you're quiet. But once you get born one time, you're going to be living under the world, sister. But when you're born quiet, you realize that I'm not mine. I'm not my own no more. I belong to someone else. And I belong to my heavenly father. That's why I tell people, I'm going to tell my daddy on you. And that's how you got the attitude you got to have. I got a heavenly father that sits high. Yes, he ain't to do all things. He owns a thousand talents on a thousand years. Yeah. And I'm walking around and talking about I'm broken, I ain't got no money. And my daddy got a thousand talents on a thousand years. He got all things that I need. Yeah. He owns all the fun to the yeah. family the institution that he is. Yeah. But we gotta know how to act and how to tap into it. Yeah. It's benefits. Yeah. But in order to receive these benefits, you, you gotta apply yourself. And once you start applying yourself and start working these things in your, out of your life and, and seeing these things start manifesting, you can't help but the, the, the tell the goodness of God. And it's just like you, 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 you tell the Reverend Lee, why the Reverend Lee's always, why he's always kidding or why he's always happy? I just thank God for what I feel like in my spirit. I can say that I know that I can treat you right. And I can say that I know that I love you. Because it's not no fake form, fashion, no, I'm trying to get anything from it because I got a wife. I ain't looking for no wife. I got a family. I'm fine with that. My wife, what I got at home is enough for me to take care of myself. Why, how can I have any time to worry about what somebody else got and what somebody else doing? I can't do it. Because the mind got to get back to this mind thing. If I don't change my mindset, and I'm still changing my clothes, I'm still going to be that old, old man. But when I go to the altar to change my mindset, when I do think about doing right, when I don't think about love, it's just talking about hate. When I think about doing good, it's just about doing bad. When I want to show charity instead of showing meanness. Those type of things, the opposite of, 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 of bad is good. Yes. So those type of opposite of, of hate is love. Yes. So let's use the opposite of wrong is right. Yes. And how can I be well, born again? Born once or born twice? Right. Inside out. May God bless you. May God teach you. God bless you.
earth to heaven, from life to death. We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. And you can rest assured that we're going somewhere. Our bodies are not designed to stay here from now on. Regardless of how old you get, you got to leave. But there is a resting place. The reason why people don't change is they don't believe. You gotta believe. Sometimes people don't believe more in things than they will in God. You put your every dime in the bank. Come on. You put your every dime in the bank. You don't know what's gonna happen to you. How about your soul? How about your soul? One thing about it. When you're born again, there will be some actions. There will be some outward demonstration. The problem is, and I'm learning more and more as I get older, the problem is folk will get saved, but they need to grow. You can S and S, you can get saved and sit. Never read your word. But remember now, growing is a command, not a choice. You can make the choice, but you're going to have to give an account of what the word teaches us to do. And what Satan does, he works over to try to keep people away from the teaching ministry. And the teaching ministry is what's going to help you to grow. To identify the enemies. Amen. He'll tell you, you don't come to Sunday school. You might stay. God said, Come, man. You got to turn around and ask God to bless you. You don't ask Satan to bless you. You know why? Because he can. But he can influence you. Stay at home. You ain't got to look at me cross eyed. Amen. I, I'm telling the truth. Amen. You need to get on up at that seat and do what you need to do. First and foremost, first step, you got to be born again. Is everybody saved in here? Now, do you understand what saved means? Give your life, your heart to Christ. And once you give your heart to Christ and grow it, don't nobody have to remind you what day it is. Don't have to remind you what time church starts. And you don't let everything get in front of you when it comes to going to church. Saved folk go to church. Amen. Amen. Hardy folk go to club. Drinking folk go to ABC store. Amen. Now, if I want the coat for it, if I, 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 I can't look for it in the Sprite section. It's not there. Somebody was telling me once about some of the members in the, was in the club or somewhere. I'm saying to myself, do they realize what they're saying? They have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> they tell it on they say. <laughs> Everybody want to go where the sun that don't look. Where the wind don't blow. I give you an invitation to Christ. See, you might as well keep it real. Because God is real. The reason why I can deal with real situations, I got a real God. Because trouble is real. Sickness is real. Hell is real. That's why I'm going to hell. Saying why that's fellowship with this preacher. Ain't nobody want to be saved today. Come on, I've never day. I've never day. You come on, give your heart to God.